And now it's time for some off-brand AirPods. These are the only ones that come in black as far as I know. I mean those off-brand, so what you get is a power bank and two, two headphones. Uh, basically how you use them is you charge this power, ba power bank it, it has a few hundred milliamp hours capacity apparently these have about 80 milliamp hours i guess each uh, or both at the same time they allow you to listen to music over bluetooth for about an hour tops uh, from what i tested then you can charge this uh, using the power bank three or four times so that apparently would equate to more or less four hours. Here are the charging ports because they, are, they actually have a connector. These, this is basically a connector that all uh, Nokia mobiles use. So a really small one. And also, uh, oh yeah, uh, here is the micro USB port uh, to charge this one. Uh, you can use those separately. So you can pair your phone to each of them separately and then only to run the one he wants to use and uh, when you turn the other one it will pair so uh, basically the one that connects to your phone first will act as a uh, let's say a host and this will be let, let's say that you power on this first it connects to the phone and then you power on this one it connects to the other one and they are communicating and this one is communicating with your phone it's a bit confusing and if you do the other way around it will appear as two uh, completely different devices uh, even though they share the exact same name so it, it doesn't really help and the quality is really poor. I don't recommend this for any kind of music, maybe some audiobooks, uh, stuff like that. It's appalling. Uh, let's take a look inside here. So basically, uh, after you charge it, there, there is a red light here. And then uh, once, you have, once, once you want to have uh, the headphones charged, you put them in. Press the button, make sure that it lights on blue. What you don't see, uh, each of them will, uh, that the, they have also an indicator that lights on red. So le let's get inside. And uh, yeah, because they, they also have indicators of blue, blue and red uh, on them. I won't be opening the headphones itself, but uh, they should be pretty standard. But what is, uh, what is, uh, different about them than other Bluetooth headsets is basically they can be uh, they can connect to each other so let me just push this one out any single one will do yeah and as you can see there is a uh, two connectors here once you plug in the headphone uh, nothing happens you have to push the button and you have uh, blue light here and you should be able to see a blinking yeah red one here it means that it is charging i mean it, it's not blinking anymore it will turn off the blue light and uh, this once they are finished charging and this is as i said basically a nokia connector the the, the old nokia connector that before they had the usb um <laughs> this is pretty standard uh one thing I want to check is uh, what's the voltage that they, they are outputting into the headphones? Is it directly feeding the? Yeah, this is are more more glue than a battery. It doesn't say the capacity at all. Uh, is it directly feeding the uh, the battery here, or is it five volts again? Firstly, I will check the battery quickly. Yeah, three point seven, and then. Uh, the headphones so over here yeah something like that i guess nothing and when i push the button it should be maybe i should check from the other side because i don't see a, oh yeah the something like that and from over here it, it's five volts actually yeah and yeah it's quite a lot. 
because it, it doesn't make any sense you have battery in here that wants to be charged from this battery so preferably uh, it would be a direct field but they are actually using 5 volts they are dropping the voltage in here charging the low battery and then it, 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 it waits so much energy to, to up the voltage, uh, reduce the voltage and so on. When I check it directly, yeah, it drops because there, prob there is probably a capacitance somewhere there. And yeah, and this chip uh, discovers when the feed stops and uh, disables the 5 volts on the output. But So it, it's an actual power bank uh, hidden inside this and you should be probably able to charge those using a Nokia charger I guess so because it runs on 5 volts and also the Nokia um, well that's basically it I don't recommend those uh, maybe if you want to you know just keep them in the pocket like so and just listen for to something for half an hour uh, they won't last much more than an hour and uh, the battery probably will degrade over time and, oh yeah it, it, this is also a multi-function button so if you press it once it's play pause uh, if you press it twice it's next track and, and that's all uh, you have to control the volume and, and it, it's the same on both uh, headphones so that's basically it thanks for watching